Now, have you ever seen pasta quite like this? Well, it's a bolognese recipe. It's gone viral on social media, but it's actually surprisingly easy to make. Michele Chiappa is in the kitchen now to show you how do Italian purists or family in Italy think when there are these things that are, have become very popular but they're not necessarily very Italian? Well, it's funny you should say that, Phil, because <laughs> I had um, quite a scathing email once when I did um, what I'm going to show you now, which is my cheats bolognese and um, the kind of the, the old school grandmother's opinions. My grandmother would have been the same, even my dad. How can you, you know, how can you show British people that's not the tradition? And mm. I come from tradition. Um, but what my argument is, this bolognese has got exactly the same ingredients as a real bolognese. I've just changed the method. Mm. And I've just changed the method for busy parents, mm -hmm. quite honestly. And if I can show people tips and hacks and tricks to shortcut, I'd rather people eat fresh and mm. home-cooked than go and buy it. No, it's a very good point. So, um, you know, I hate chopping. If you ever... I'm probably giving a secret, but I really despise chopping. So this bolognese, um, you don't have to chop anything. Okay. And what it will... So let, let's start with that. So all I'm doing in here is browning the meat. And then in a roasting tray... I, well, there we go. Let's start with the original. You've got your sofrito base, which is your onion, carrot and celery. Mm -hmm. I add in courgette and beetroot because, again, this is a way to get more nutrients into the kids, basically, mm. is why I do it. You don't have to do that. And then I put in two garlic cloves with the, with the skin on. All the rest have just been topped and tailed. Drizzle of olive oil and then a little bit of salt, and that goes in the oven. Now, again, people will say oven, hob, energy. You can also steam or boil this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. The whole point is, is it's avoiding you to get a sofrito finely chopped. Yeah. It takes me about 15 minutes. Mm. So that avoids all the chopping and you are left with this gorgeous kind of soft vegetables. And what I do right at the end is I squeeze the um, garlic out. Mm -hmm. So that saves you peeling garlic because peeling garlic and onions, again, is one of my worst things to do in the kitchen. And that gets blended and popped into a blender. And look, you pureed wow. and you end up with this lovely, really soft kids, again, fussy eaters, kids that don't want to eat, no bits. you know, chunky bits. And into this now, so I've browned my meat, goes my vegetables, a tin of blended tin tomatoes, or it can be chopped. I put in three tablespoons of tomato puree. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then seasoning, salt and pepper. Just checking I haven't missed anything out. And stock. So I've got about 400 ml of stock here. And you could also use to cheat 400 ml of boiling water and a stock cube. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Trust me, I have served this to my entire family. And the only difference they'll know is I've put beetroot in and they'll be like, oh, And it does change colour. the colour slightly. It, it does make it a bit more of a punchier like a red. But deeper it's, I mean, red. it's nice. It looks nice, but it just... If you're looking at your eyes, you go, oh, it looks a bit different. It's, that's yeah, so right. if you want to take the beetroot out, you will end up, what, in what my opinion is, your kind of classic bolognese. Yeah. It's um, really tasty. I mean, really tasty. Well, mm. so it doesn't stop there. So there's that. Then we're going to do a white sauce. Mm. I'm not going to have time to do the whole thing here, but white sauce, I do... The method is 80, 80, 800. So we've got 80 grams of butter, 80 grams of plain flour, put a um, great bit of nutmeg. Mm -hmm. This is a bit of an Italian kind of addition. And I think with white sauce, the key is seasoning. Mm. Give it a generous amount of kind of salt and pepper. And then, when that forms a roux, my tip with white sauce, because everyone moans about lumpy sauces, get it off the heat. Once the roux is formed, you pull it off the heat and then you throw in the milk. I'm speeding this up a little bit, but the, for the purpose, what happens is off the heat, you can get rid of all the lumps. Right, OK. And then you finish adding the milk and you will end up with... A lovely, silky... A lovely, smooth, white silky sauce, white lovely. sauce. And here goes. Now, those two stages you can prepare in advance mm -hmm. and then we're going to layer this up. So, 
Watch this. What do you ask for with these particular so, pasta? So, the, this pasta is like a half cannelloni tube. Mm. Now, you will never cut a cannelloni if you get a full one, so don't try that. Yeah. Um, these are called pacchieri. So, here we go. I ripped it off the... I don't know how you would pronounce that. Well, I, you're asking well, me. Well, pacchieri is the Italian pronunciation. Pa pacchieri. to us. Pacchieri. Yeah, what yeah. she said. Yeah. Pacchieri. <laughs> um, but you could also use shells. Mm. And actually, people, you know... Like I've been, the big shells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've been asked, are these difficult to get? No, actually, online, if you type in half cannelloni pasta, you'll probably find them quite easily. So we're going to put those so in. You've done a layer of sauce at the bottom. Layer of sauce at the bottom to stop it from burning. And you don't have to pre-cook anything. Nope. Nope, you do this, and then we're going to top it with... Because the great thing is this all goes down the tubes. Down the tubes. It's better if you layer this up hot. So if you have done this a day or two in advance, just give it a bit of warmth. OK, I then put in... Speed, speed, speed. It's a really nice idea, isn't yep. it, this? I put a little bit of milk just to help it go down. Oh. Just, to help, just a little bit. Top it with a white sauce. And then cheese. And then this goes in the oven, just like that. Parmesan. And cheese, mozzarella. Da, 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 da. And then it comes... How long is it in the oven for? So that needs to go in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes at 180. I mean... I've got to say, it's absolutely it's, yeah, delicious. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And yeah. the, the, the bolognese sauce is amazing. Well, it's really good. You know, I just think mm. this for a family meal every time. Make... No. <laughs> no, it's all right. I've got... <laughs> Put a napkin there to do. Mm. But you can freeze that, and you mm. can make the white sauce. And you, mm. I, what I would recommend though is don't make it in advance with the pasta because it'll go soft. Great. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much you indeed. So much. And in the weather, can I eat that crispy cheese? <laughs> <laughs> the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free this morning app.